Narcissists are low class. Narcissists are of a low and inferior standard, quality or social class. And I'm not talking about money. I'm talking more about their behaviours. Because many of them lack skills and education. They're irresponsible. They don't respond to the best of their ability. They lack the ability to do something well. They're uneducated. They show a poor level of education and of their awareness of themselves. They lack conscious knowledge of their own character and feelings. They're emotionally unstable. They show a pattern of behavior characterized by intense, unpredictable, and sometimes rapid changes. In their mood, emotions, thoughts, and feelings. They do not have strong coping mechanisms to allow them to properly deal with criticism or rejection. So instead, they take it out on other people, where they will lash out at you emotionally or even physically, or they will even try to abandon you first. Because they're very afraid of criticism and rejection. They're very insecure about their reality, so they have to force it onto other people. Instead of just letting people be themselves, because that would be a threat to the illusion, and that is what they're trying to maintain which results in them being very insensitive to where they show no concern for your feelings. They're offensively impolite and bad-mannered. They're out of control. They act outside the boundaries of the lowest socially acceptable behavior. They may have money and success. They may appear stylish and sophisticated but it's just an image because their behaviors do not line up with who they're portraying themselves to be. They're deceptive and misleading. They give an appearance or impression that is different from the true one to manipulate you into thinking that they share a common characteristic or quality to make you think that they are stylish, admirably smart or elegant, when the reality is very different because they're actually some of the most unsophisticated people you could ever meet. They lack refined worldly knowledge and tastes. They don't possess or display significant experience or knowledge about life and the world, so it's very easy to shock or deceive them to where they find something you said or did to be unpleasant or offensive, even if you never intended to cause a negative reaction from them, which reveals what is beneath the surface. Because they get mad over little things. They're very petty. They focus on things that are of little importance. They turn molehills into mountains, and it's all their emotions. They see their feelings as facts. Whatever they feel becomes the truth, which is crazy. Because their feelings can change from one moment to the next. Which is why they're so unpredictable. You never know what they're going to do. Because their actions and behaviors are not grounded in reason or logic. It depends on however they feel. Which is why they're so reckless and impulsive. They're heedless of danger and of the consequences of their actions. They're ignorant. They're thoughtless and careless. They act on sudden desires or inclinations rather than careful thought. Which results in a lot of bad decisions which they tend to blame on the people around them. They never take any responsibility. It's always someone else's fault. 
and this is partly due to how they were raised. But it's also due to societal values. The world has changed a lot over the last few decades. What's morally acceptable today is very different to what was morally acceptable back then. People are more tolerant of degenerative behaviours. Things that are damaging and destructive not only to themselves, but to other people as well. Narcissistic behaviour has become the norm and it's being promoted on social media. It's encouraged by social conditioning and peer pressure and it's being pushed on the younger generations. Teens and young adults are more concerned with club culture rather than their future. They're more concerned with gathering at bars or nightclubs which is very harmful to their health and it's not a good start to their lives. They study or work 9 to 5 jobs every day until they go out on the weekend and then they're drinking alcohol, using recreational drugs and having one night stands. With people who are not even concerned about them or their future, people who are not even concerned about themselves, because if they were they wouldn't be doing that to their bodies, especially not on a consistent basis. But this is what they do often several nights a week until one day they get older then they decide to settle down. But by that time it's too late because now no high value person would want them because they never took the time to work on themselves or to prepare for their future. They just wasted their lives away. And yet many of them have the arrogance and audacity to think that they can still get a high value person when they never even did the work. They never took the time to focus on their mental, emotional or physical health. So they have all of these health issues. Many of them have personality disorders or mental illnesses. They don't practice self love or self care. So they're very messed up in the mind. And if you're around them, you will get caught up in it. And it will have a lasting effect on you. It will bring you down. Because they're not going to feel comfortable around you unless they can project their emotional issues onto you. And get you to smoke cigarettes, drink alcohol or do drugs. And then it's just going to have a negative effect on your life. It's going to cause all sorts of problems for you and then in the end they're just going to blame you even though you were never like that before. You had a lot of things going on before you met them but they pulled you into all the wrong things. They ruined you. But they will never take responsibility for their actions. They don't even take responsibility for their own lives. In the end they will always blame the person they victimised. And they may even start a smear campaign and tell everyone it was your fault when maybe you were just lonely and you needed companionship and they were there for you at the time. And it's like the boiling frog syndrome. You didn't realize what was happening until it was too late. But this is what these individuals have to do to survive. They never took the time to work on themselves, so they learned to manipulate people instead. They became leeches or bottom feeders, these opportunists who seek quick profit at the expense of other people, which really are the lowest of the low, because they just sponge off other people without thinking about the damaging effects that it might have on you, because they're only thinking about themselves and what they can gain. They're low class people. So they can only bring you down with them. 
And if you look back at the time that you spent with them, you will realize that you lost a lot of your time, health, money and status. They took everything away from you. They drained you of everything you had. And it's likely that they just moved on to another person and did the exact same thing again. Because they know how to move through society without getting caught. And a lot of these behaviours are being promoted. People are being encouraged to do these things. And it's always at expense of generous hard working people. People who we need more of in society today. Because we're experiencing societal collapse and population decline. A loss of cultural identity and social complexity as an adaptive system which is tearing society apart because now people are focusing on insignificant or relevant things which were never noticed before. Things which are taking the focus and attention away from what really matters in life and it's the result of these societal and governmental systems that have been created. in the pursuit of social justice to where generous hard-working people are having to pay the price for other people's bad decisions laziness and misfortune and this behavior is being encouraged so there's no incentive for people to act right and there's no justice when these behaviors are conducted which is why narcissists are everywhere they thrive in today's society because they were never taught that their behavior is wrong. They've always been devoid of accountability because they're surrounded by enablers. And even if you don't enable their behavior, society and governments will. So there's just no reason for them to stop. They're going to continue with whatever that seems to be working for them, whatever is being promoted and encouraged which will result in a lot of transactional relationships, divorces and single parents, as well as a rise in unsolved crimes and injustice because people are getting away with it. And they're getting away with it every day around the world because no one is putting a stop to it. And it's because people are giving their attention to insignificant or irrelevant things. And these things are being promoted, such as feminism, transgenderism, and homosexuality, when this should only concern a very small percentage of the population. It's not something that everyone should be concerned about. And media and social influences and club culture are being pushed on the youth where most people today no longer even hold an identity of their own. They're just at the whim of whatever is popular or trending. They have no opinions or beliefs of their own. They're not concerned about their future. And it's already too late for a lot of these people. They've already gone down that path and there's no turning back for them because this behavior is being promoted and encouraged. And they're not going to take accountability. But it's not too late to bring back traditional values for the next generation. Which is something that we must uphold for our children or grandchildren. Because if we don't do it. By the time they become adults, it may be too late. Long-standing beliefs, customs and practices just won't be relevant anymore. And you can already see it in the world today. It's having a negative impact on people's behaviours. Because there's just no discipline or self-control.
And the first thing people should do when they witness this chaos and destruction in the world is turn to God. They should reflect moral, ethical or religious principles. They should be concerned with the proper standards of behaviour. They should adhere to a code of ethics and moral values which may not be trending or popular. But we should do it because we know it's the right thing to do. Because there should be an organisational system and structure, a series of steps that will accomplish a specific goal. And that can only be attained with traditional values, knowing your duty and doing your duty. Keeping your word without lying. And not cheating or expecting something for nothing. And instead putting in the work for your future. Upholding your responsibilities to your family, your spouse, your parents, your children and your society. And sadly this is just not what people want to do. But it's what needs to be done to create a stable foundation and future for our children because otherwise they're not going to have a leg to stand on there's not going to be anything left men need to know their purpose and duty they need to have an intention and an objective for their lives there needs to be a reason for why they exist they need a sense of resolve a strong determination to see something through to completion despite external challenges to solve and end these problems and difficulties while women need to support men on their purpose they need to know their role and they need to be prepared from a young age to value marriage and family instead of wasting their lives until one day they lose their looks and they stop getting attention from men and they decide to settle down with whoever is willing to provide for them women should already be married at a young age because by the time most women turn 18 they've already engaged in one night stands they've slept around and many of them drink alcohol, smoke cigarettes and use recreational drugs things that cause marked changes in their mood and behaviour so they're not in a good position to support a man on his purpose it's not going to end well and it's not a fair exchange for a man who has worked all of his life and taken good care of his body to settle for a woman who has been used and abused It might be very difficult for a man to cherish and respect a woman like that because their value has gone down while high value men value innocence and purity a lack of harmlessness and corruption because we don't want anything to contaminate what we've worked so hard to establish so we desire something pure something that will not change or lower our quality because we made the choice to take good care of ourselves and our lives and women should take care of themselves as well they should be prepared to enter marriage before they're socially conditioned and pressured into undesired conditions and situations and brainwashed by feminism and media influences Because marriage will protect them from physical and mental illness. If they're with a man who is empathetic and takes good care of them. 
a man who can share their feelings and support them emotionally. The problem is that most high value men are not going to be willing to do that with a woman who does not take good care of herself and value herself. People tend to take care of things that have been taken good care of. Things that have been valued and respected in the past. So if women are having one night stands and using drugs, it's going to be difficult for a high value man to respect them. Which is why most high value men in their 30s and above today are going to choose younger women. Because they're less likely to contaminate their health and their lives. And that is what I would advise to any younger women who are watching this video. Or any parents of a younger woman or child. They should be prepared for marriage from a young age. I have already witnessed in several relationships of my own where an ex decided not to proceed in having a marriage and children with me and it didn't end well for any of them as I have talked about in previous videos. If they had decided to continue the relationship, their lives would be very different. They would have lived a far more secure and comfortable life. With a man who never would have given up on them. As long as they supported me. Which is why my personal opinion from my experience. Is that they should already be married in their teens. If it is safe and legal in their country or region. Because as I said by that age teenagers are already using alcohol and drugs. They're already engaging in one night stands. So their lives are already deteriorating. Many women in their early 20s today were far more physically attractive and healthier when they were in their teens. Because they didn't take care of themselves, they let themselves go. They engaged in harmful activities. And this type of behavior is being promoted among the youth which will only contaminate and cause problems for a high value man who will overlook those types of women and want nothing to do with them or even if he does foolishly decide to give them a chance it's going to affect his life and it will likely result in a divorce and a single parent raising the child on their own which will cause a lot of stress for the mother which will then affect the child's future and the father will be taken down by alimony and child support so everyone gets affected as a result which is why high class and high value behavior is so important and it is essential for our futures men must have a purpose and they must balance their work with meaningful relationships, hobbies and relaxation. They must build success for themselves and for their family. And women must support men on their purpose. Because that's the only way that it's going to work. It's not designed to work any other way. And it was always this way. Until the last few decades when feminism took over, men need a purpose. And women need to have their role in a high value man's life. Because high value men are important. They're essential to our society's growth and development. Without them, everyone takes a fall. Even if it's not always directly. Because they're the backbone of society and government. They're what keeps the system running. So they need support. Otherwise societies will continue to collapse and systems will eventually fall apart.
Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comment section. Hit the subscribe button to receive the notifications. If you would like to support the channel, you can donate at paypal.me slash narcsurvivor. You can book a one-on-one -on -one with me on my website. It's narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.